Hi, this is Gillian for Production Expert. I've got Fast Equalizer here. This is one of the three Fast plugins recently released by Focusrite as part of their collective platform. They're AI-driven intelligent processes um, that make suggestions, um, bring up some settings based on what they're hearing, and you can either use those suggestions or do something different. It's up to you. Here we are with a piece of music I've used a few times before, actually. This is a good one because it could use some EQ. Here it is flat. And this is pretty much the suggestions made by, uh, just default suggestions made by these equalizers. Let's home in on this, on this electric piano. Okay, so over here, what we have is, uh, you've got some different settings. First thing you need to do is tell it what it's listening to. If nothing fits, choose universal, but in this case, we've got keys. So we'll go with that. Let's default this out. Okay, so I'll suggest uh, keys. And what we can do then is we just hit learn and play it some keys. Now this is pretty broad fit. This could just as easily be a piano or a Hammond or something. So you know, see how it gets on. And what we have is, it clears out the mid range a bit and a bit of high lift. Okay. So what is it we're looking at here? Well, at the moment we're in fast mode. We've got three different directions we can go in. We can brighten things up, or we can warm things up. And you see, all they're doing is they're taking these bands that have been suggested. These are called flavors, flavor sliders, and it's tweaking them up and down. So for the bright one, pulling out the low mid, and for the warm one, it's lifting the bass and pulling out some high mid, and in neutral, it's flat. Now we can do that manually. Um, you've got an intensity slider, which I think is a really nice thing. But uh, what you can do is you can just find the region that you're interested in. Now, this electric piano It's all about low mid, I'd say. So let's have a listen to by soloing that up. Well, when I said low mid, I meant a little lower than that. So maybe getting towards the bass. Bring a bit of that up. Listening context, always important. Um, I'd probably go with a bit of that low mid as well. Do we want this? What's that? I should use this solo, really. Okay, maybe pull that out. So I've gone in the kind of warm direction, actually, but these are my own tweaks. And if I'm happy with that, I can go with that. However, what you can do is you can jump into uh, detailed mode. So you've mo I've moved these uh, flavor sliders, okay. Of course, of course, I can lean in or out of, so I can exaggerate the setting that I've made. Go a little over 100 actually. But if I want a bit more control, what I do is I go over onto detailed mode. Now, in here, what we have is something that looks a lot more like a conventional equalizer. We've got a spectrum analyzer. Switch that in and out if you want. I'm going to leave that in because that's got some helpful information in it. You've got some uh, some nodes here. I think these are called thumbs in this uh, in this equalizer. And uh, Either high shelf or low shelf or high pass and low pass. You can change between those like this. Now, there are some really nice ways to speed up what you're doing in here by using some, uh, some keyboard modifiers. So, of course, like any equalizer, you can grab these and move them around any way you want. Something to be aware of is once I've changed this, let's pull that right up so it's not really woolly, woolly, woolly. Now, if I come back over into fast mode, what I find is this is now disabled. It is a bit of a one-way process of, uh, of I have to reset this to be able to get access to this flavor slider again. And I can now do what I want with it. But if I come back over to detailed, I've lost the change I made. So just something to be aware of. But if I want to know what's going on in there, first off, I can solo it in the way I did with the other side. I could do it down here. But if you hold command, control on a PC, you can momentarily, just while you're holding command, solo the band. So what does this sound like? Really nice feature. Something else that you can do is that uh, you can adjust the Q by holding Option. And of course you can combine that with Command. So you can uh, solo it while you're adjusting it. 
But my favourite thing that you can do in here is that if you hold shift, you can lock the frequency. So if you found the frequency you're interested in tweaking and you don't want to move off it by moving diagonally, while you're holding this, you are constrained left, right, and you'll stay on that 130 hertz in this case. Really nice thing. This video is part of a more detailed article on Production Expert. So if you want to know what I thought of this plugin, click on the link.